Right, so first things first, because it is raining today, it has made things a little bit cooler, which means wrapping the vehicle will be a little bit harder. I'm gonna see how we go. Might have to use the heat gun. Hopefully I don't have to use too much of the heat gun. I should just be able to glass it over. First thing, we'll be doing the quarter panels, then the front bar, then focusing on the door. First thing, we'll be doing the front bar, then the quarter panels, then focusing on the door. Not too sure what I'm gonna do with the rear section of the car with the tray. I might have to use the hoist and lift the tray off a little bit and then get to the back wall. Who knows, if we get it done quick enough, I might even use some of the matte black vinyl wrap that I've got to do a little GS stripe down the side. This is a little shit take. First things first, as you can see here, after taking off the factory decals that are here, the paint has come off with it. So I'm gonna have to sand that down, put a primer filler over it, and hopefully get it flat enough that the vinyl can go over it. Same here, over the years of neglect, it's got some damage around here. So I'm gonna try and fix this up with primer filler as best I can, and then uh, we'll go from there, see how we go. Alright, my bad, I totally forgot that the Courier is the only car my missus can drive at the moment as her car is in the panel shop getting repaired. So, <laughs> I'm gonna ditch that, put it back together and get it ready for her to drive and do, do her day. She runs her own business, so the public holiday doesn't really matter to her. That means, we're back on the Falcon today. So, I'd kind of planned to vinyl wrap that. Now I don't know what to do with this, so I'm thinking, I mean, I've got a transmission light over there. I can, I can do. Hmm. Nah, I've got it. I'm gonna continue disassembling the interior on the XA. I'm gonna take out the, the heater box. taking out the dash. So, I'm gonna be taking out the rest of the dash. It's in pretty pretty good nick, pretty good condition. So, there's nothing that really needs to be repaired on it. I just wanna take it out so I can get to the firewall a little bit easier, lay down some insulation, some of that stuff from car builders, and uh, then also take out the windshield at a later point and attack this plenum. <laughs> These two rocket switches that were here were actually the immobilizer. And they worked in sequence. You had to have one up, one down, fucking something like that. And, uh, oh, you're a beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Just tapped into everything and anything. My favorite thing about these old cars is the wiring. Oh, I love the wiring that's been done over the past 30 odd years, and it's just. Super glued here, electrical tape there. Oh, yeah. 
in saying that, the dash, it was like six bolts to get the thing floppy jobby. Should be out in about three minutes. There we have it, dash is out. Pretty simple shit, it was like six bolts. Uh, however, all the wiring from the past 40 years made it a bit of an issue, so we got there in the end. So, we're gonna continue pulling this shit out. But first, I've gotta put the courier back together. Get that ready for my missus to go bed her day. Otherwise, I'll be in the fucking doghouse. out with the uh, air conditioning and all that sort of jazz inside it. It's an absolute hack job. This bit of metal stuck in there to create a seal for the vent to the windscreen. So these vacuum lines have been cut off. So it's pretty filthy, it's pretty dirty. It's filled with leaves and shit. It's very rusted. To get this to an operating stage, we're gonna need to get some switches from a Landau that mount in the center console. Retrofit that into what is currently in there. So that'll be a bit of a job. Right, so next on the list of interior things, center console. So the center console had the wood grain insert in it, which I absolutely despise. I can't stand wood grain. If you want to go for an original look, that's awesome. You can use it, but I'm going for a bit more of an aftermarket look, a bit more of a brushed, brushed metal look, uh, a bit more something that says muscle car and wood grain just does not say that. Uh, so what I've done is Remove the wood grain from there. It's got the glue from the factory, which is an absolute shit to remove. What I'm doing is I'm putting in an insert I've made out of Perspex. That slots in almost perfectly. And what I'll be doing is I'll just be neatening up these edges, ready to wrap it in a brushed metal wrap. So this is what we'll be going over it to give it a brushed metal look. Not sure if you can really see that too well on the camera, but That'll be going over it, so the inlay will be brushed. That's all pending, I don't fuck this up. All right, so I've just finished getting all of this nice and square and neat and sanded it down. There's no lips on it. Nothing that's gonna catch, so once I apply the vinyl wrap, it should look schmicker. I've just prepped it, get the vinyl wrap ready, and we'll see how we go. But I think I'm gonna have to do an intermission, because I think Emma just rocked up with coffee. Did they give us cookies? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, yes. I got Emma's cookie. Cause she can't eat it because she's in comp prep. <laughs> All right, first I'm gonna drink this. I might go watch some YouTube. And then, then we're gonna wrap it. Or I can wrap it while drinking this. It might make it a little bit more bearable because vinyl wrapping is shit. Ah, that was boiling hot. <laughs> center console I'm going to attack the dash so I'm going to be wrapping that in the same actually I think I might do it in matte black create a bit of contrast all right so I'm going to be wrapping that dash center in matte black I've already sort of started to take it out time lapse it I will play that right now So one issue about the fascia that's already on the dash is that it is textured. 
So if I lay a vinyl over that, it's gonna show through the vinyl. So I need to figure out whether I want that texture to show through or if I use some sort of primer etcher to fill it all in, sand it back, it just adds, triples the time uh, to do this job. What do I wanna do? Right, I've decided I'm gonna wrap over it in the matte black, see if the texture comes through. I might even like it and it might not even come through that bad. Give it a wrap and we'll see how we go. All right, so I've done a test piece. There's a lot of different textures going on there. It's picking up the plastic underneath the wood grain, wood grain itself lifting up off of the plastic going into this air vent here, which you can't pick up on the wood grain itself. But once you put a matte vinyl over the top of it, it's gonna show all the different light, so. So that's that done. I reckon that looks 10 times better than what it was. From a distance, looks schmicky dicks. Only up close you can see imperfections, but sort of some of that's top 10 shootout car. It is, I was gonna say daily, but it's definitely not a daily, just a weekender. Pretty happy with how that looks. I'm gonna get the switches. I was gonna say I'm gonna get the switches redone professionally, but I'm not. I'm gonna do them myself. I will go with a bit of a gray outline. Currently they're chrome but I think I will go for a bit of a gray theme, a bit of a black and gray theme, which is what the paint job of the car will be. So, that's done. Pretty happy with how much I got done today regardless. Might not have wrapped the courier, but I got to wrap a whole heap of other shit. And now we're ready to do the soundproofing and the sound deadener, thanks to car builders. I'll be grabbing one of the car builders packs and filling it with the car builders underlay sound editor and all that sort of good shit i would say tune in next time for x but i've absolutely no idea what we're going to be doing next time and i'll say i want to cut rust out and i'll end up doing the bottom end of the engine or something so i don't know but got that done pretty happy with that thanks for watching